Congratulations on your twin pregnancy. Whether you found out earlier on in your pregnancy, or whether you found out following your 12-week scan, we hope to have produced a resource which will perhaps answer some of those questions we as doctors don't answer as well as we should do. Lisa and Sarita are two mothers who have recently had twins. We will be following their story over the next four videos. But to begin, here they are discussing some of their experiences of early pregnancy. Um, because your story is probably one which is quite similar to a lot of mums actually yeah. who I see have got twins. Yeah. So, so let's start right at the beginning, shall we? And how, how did you find out you're going to have twins? Well, it, well, it was just sort of normal pregnancy symptoms really and I went to the doctors and, um, and we did a pregnancy test and it was positive um, and it wasn't actually till my, is it 12 weeks? Yeah, 12 the first weeks, yeah. Scan. Yeah. yeah, the first scan that I found out that they were twins so it was well, a bit of a shock actually I <laughs> but, um, but I've got twins in the family because my mum is a twin. We're going to produce four videos. The first video, this one, will focus on early pregnancy. The second on weeks 12 to 24. The third video will look at the latter stages of pregnancy and a discussion about the way to deliver your twins. The final video will focus on important practical aspects about raising twins, for example, breastfeeding and help which is available in the community. Fantastic, okay. And, and, and were the early sort of few, well, first few weeks or months that fairly straightforward? No. No? Oh, right. In, in what way? Gosh, the morning sickness. It was terrible. Okay. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> tell, me, tell me a little bit about your morning sickness. Um, how, 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 did it, how did it manifest for you? Um, to be honest, even before I found out I was pregnant, yeah. I was being sick and I suspected I probably was pregnant. And it was really bad. I couldn't keep anything down and I was admitted to the hospital a couple of times. Okay. Because I got myself so dehydrated. Fine. And I need a lot of anti emetics and fluids. Fine. Okay. Going in through that drip thing. Yeah, yeah, yes. Um did you find that and did we ever get on top of the vomiting when you when you're in hospital? I didn't know in the beginning that I was carrying twins. Right. But when I discovered that I was carrying twins and it was explained to me that twins bring on the sickness More of, the... of morning sickness, yes. Yes. So that was explained because of that. Yes. Twins come in two types, non-identical and identical. Non-identical twins are formed when two separate eggs are fertilised at the same time and grow in the same womb. Identical twins are formed when one egg is fertilised and then divides into two separate pregnancies. Non-identical twins always have their own placenta and their own sac, whereas identical twins, although they may have their own placenta and their own sac, may share a placenta or a sac or both. It is important for us to work out what type of twins you're having, as this will alter how close eye we need to keep on them over the course of the next few months. And um, how did you feel when you found out you were having twins? Nearly fainted. Nearly fainted? Yes. Was that due to the sickness or was that due no, to the... due to the news. Due to the news. I didn't ex expect to have twins. I don't have twins in the family at all. Neither does my husband. Okay. Was that good news? It was good news. It was good news. You know yes. what they say, twice the trouble, twice yes. the joy. Gets everything all out of the way, quickly. Most women don't realise they're having twins until their first scan. This is because, for most women, the first 12 weeks of a twin pregnancy is exactly the same as the first 12 weeks of a singleton pregnancy. However, some women may feel very sick during the first 12 weeks, and this is more common in twin pregnancies. Occasionally, women are very unwell and require admission to hospital so that we can hydrate them and give them appropriate medicine to stop them from feeling so sick. This is called hyperemesis gravidarum. Did they give you any other tips or tricks to try and stop you from feeling so sick? Well, they said, I was told that 
I should have frequent small meals yeah. and eat non-greasy stuff and stay off pop, Fun. fizzy stuff, which I did, and it did help. Mm. And, and, and how long did the sickness period carry on for? Luckily not for long, only the first few months. I started feeling better when I hit 12 weeks and okay. gradually got better. So I quite for that because I started feeling very really hungry after that. Most women don't realise they are having twins until their first scan. The first scan happens at around 12 weeks and we call it the first trimester scan. When you arrive for your scan, you will have your weight and height taken and be asked several questions about your lifestyle, such as whether you smoke or drink. The most important things in this scan are how many babies there are and whether there is a heartbeat in both the babies. However, the ultrasonographer will also measure the crown rump length, which is the length of the baby, and this helps us to determine exactly how many weeks and days pregnant you are. They also take several other measurements, including a measurement from the neck called the nuchal translucency, which helps us determine if the baby may have any abnormalities or not. We will discuss screening with you in detail in clinic, and you may already have seen one of our leaflets. But if you decide that you would like screening, we will take blood from you at this point, and using your blood results, your age, and measurements from the scan, calculate your risk of having one of these rare abnormalities. In conclusion, Early twin pregnancy is exactly the same for most women as those expecting a single baby. Many don't even know that they're expecting twins before the first scan. You are however likely to feel slightly more sick than other women and possibly more tired. At the end of the first trimester scan we hope to tell you that your babies are well what the risk is that they may have some rare abnormalities and when your due date is.